Well, today on Nation, the Window Cleaners Podcast, we're talking all about how to get referrals, what you can do, maybe you could be better, maybe you're doing an awesome job already, but either way, come hang out, spend some time, and check out WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from Window Cleaning Resource, WCR, windowcleaner.com. And you are here. What is up? I hope all of you are doing absolutely epic. I hope everything's starting to come turn around a little bit, or at least you're staying healthy. Uh, The light is at the end of the tunnel, so stay happy, stay focused. We'll get through this uh, pretty darn quick, hopefully. But if it's your first time here, have a look around. Uh, We got 150 episodes. Go back, binge them all on YouTube or anywhere podcasts are available. Um, if you are a long time listener, long time listener, <laughs> if you're one of the cool kids, if you're one of the OGs, if you do all of that, you listen and watch and thumbs up and you order through me because you're just that absolutely epic. Thank you. It is because of you that I get to buy name brand batteries for my flashlights when the power goes out, when we have all these tornadoes. So thank you. And if you want to be a customer of mine uh, or let me be your rep, it costs you nothing extra, but it is like a huge thank you. If you get anything out of the content from the show, that's how you can definitely uh, show your thanks. All you need to do is give me a call or shoot me a text at 862-312-2026. Just let me put your orders in. It costs you nothing extra for me to do it, but I get credit for it, and that's how I make my cheddar. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, But this week... We're going to be talking all about the top five ways to get referrals. Now, let's talk referrals in general. We know that referrals are epic. They're absolutely amazing. Referrals are the number one way that you're going to get business. Number one way, always will be, is referrals. And here's the big thing. And the big reason why is because if I say to you, oh yeah, talk to Justin Monk, we'll say. Justin Monk is a great Dude, his company's amazing. He does absolutely epic stuff. It's Monk SEO. We're, we're talking about an explanation, but I might as well give you his info, right? Find him on Facebook, Justin Monk, M-O-N-K. But if I said to you, ah, oh, man, you're looking for an SEO guy? Use Justin Monk. Justin Monk is absolutely amazing. What he does is epic. He does better than any company I've ever used or heard of ever before. Literally does. Literally is amazing. Use him. Well, you're going to say, cool, I'm going to try out Justin Monk. Because you trust my word, so instantly you trust who I trust, right? That's how referrals work. If little Betty Johnson talks to her friend Sue, and Betty says, I just had the nicest window cleaner come to my house. He did such a great job. Oh, who is it? Oh, let me get their number. They instantly want to because the trust, which is the biggest factor in if somebody chooses you, that is instant. Because they trust the person who says they like you. Now, if, if they don't, just some stranger says, you know, hey, use this person. You're going to go, okay, cool, that was an ad. It could be the same exact thing. But there is no trust associated with that person. There is no trust in what they say. So getting referrals is huge. And I'm telling you, no matter how many tens of thousands of dollars I've spent on advertising, uh, I've never had a month or time. Uh, we track by the month. That's why I say month. But we've never had that where referrals wasn't at least 50% of our new business. Referrals, if you're doing them right, is huge. Huge. Just think of all the ROI from everything else you do, from your Facebook ads and Instagram and and Google AdWords and uh, EDDM and everything else. Imagine if on top of all of that, you got free business instantly, always, no matter what you did. Like That's why we got to up those referrals. We got to up those. And... Referrals come kind of connected with reviews. So services like uh, Nice Job uh, is one of them who does absolutely amazing at collecting reviews. Reviews are huge. I'm not going to touch on reviews because it's its own subject. But reviews are like trusted words, even if you don't trust a person yet. But we're not talking about that. What we're talking about are referrals. And how do you get them? How do you get people to give you referrals? Well, here's a couple ways that I really like. I'm going to give you the top five in my book. The first one we're starting off with is Nextdoor. Now, Nextdoor, if you haven't heard of it, 
is an app. It's becoming huge, huge, huge. It may not be in every area, but check. You'd be surprised. Didn't know it was in my area. But Nextdoor is an app, and it is like a Facebook only for a neighborhood. So if you live in a neighborhood or you're in a certain section of town, your um, uh, group that's out there may be a next door in your town. So just for example, you guys know where I live here in North Carolina, but we have one for our little subdivision, and it's called Curtis Pond. Now, our subdivision here has its own next door. There's also a bunch of next doors from all the different subdivisions all around us. Now, when somebody likes what they do or they get service, they'll jump on there and they'll say, hey, just so you guys know, I just had my windows cleaned. It turned out amazing. And I use XYZ. They'll do that and they'll put it out there. But sometimes they need to be prompted. So what I'll always do is if I know there's a next door in the area, when I'm done, and the whole thing, I say, hey, if you really like their service, you know, the biggest thank you we could receive is just a little blurb on Nextdoor. If and when you got time, put something out there just saying that you liked us or, heck, that we even did it. I definitely would appreciate it. And getting that out there is just people posting because people go on Nextdoor to find services that somebody else has used, like painters and carpet cleaners and window cleaners and pressure washers and gutter cleaners and roof cleaners and uh, roofing people and landscaping. A lot of the time they're looking for their neighbors because if they're in the same area, they kind of already sort of trust and that's a good referral. Nextdoor can be huge. You can actually get a ton of work from Nextdoor. Uh, so search that. It's an app, but uh, they also have it online. Another big thing with Nextdoor is that when you do do a service, I said do-do, uh, you um, uh, the people who say, somebody will jump on and say, hey, I'm looking for a window cleaner. Anybody use somebody? Now, if you have fans, not customers, but if you have fans, they're going to come to bat and go, oh, man, I use Jersey with XYZ. It, it is awesome. He is like the best rep with window cleaning resource I've ever used. Just saying. I've, I mean, I've had those before. People say it a lot, but that's the big thing, right? If somebody refers them like that to a question, we get it all the time. If you've seen, even on our uh, Facebook groups and pro window cleaning things, somebody will say, hey, where's the best place to buy window cleaning or water fed gear? And somebody will say, hey, talk to Jersey at windowcleaner.com. He's amazing. He takes the time. He answers all the questions. He's so easy to deal with, blah, 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 blah. Whatever they say, that is a referral. Even if you're answering someone's question, it's a referral. And that's where Nextdoor comes into play in the same thing is that a neighbor asks a neighbor and they trust the neighbor. So getting more and more people knowing that you wanna be a next door, knowing that you do great service and becoming your fans, they're gonna give you those referrals. Next door is huge. I love next door, even though there's like uh, gossip and a bunch of other like just dumb things. I mean, it's just like Facebook, but next door is pretty awesome. There's another thing on the same thing, which is like next door, but they're called listservs. Uh, I've talked with somebody who's in DC and they're on listservs and listserv, I believe is like the same concept. I've never seen one here, but same idea where if you can get on a listserv, people are then touting your praises to everybody else. And that's how you're getting work. It's, it's amazing to be on there. It's amazing to have fans, but the big thing you want to do is just track where people are coming in. So every time you get somebody new, just ask the simple question, Oh, how'd you hear of us? And they're not going to give you everywhere. You, you, they may have seen you on, you know, a door hanger, but then also got an ADDM and they talked to their buddy and then they, their mom said, but whatever they tell you may be the last thing that they can remember. So find out where it's coming from and you'll be really, really surprised to find out that next door is a huge, huge one for referrals. Uh, the number... I don't even remember. We're not numbering them. But another one of the top five is plastic gift cards. Now, if you've ever taken notes on anything that I've said, um, this is one of them. Plastic gift cards has been such a game changer. Let me, let me start from the beginning. Let me tell you what a plastic gift card is. So a plastic gift card is just a plastic card, which you can get anywhere, PVC cards, uh, I believe even at cost print can do that here. Uh, I don't have any with me now. You guys know I sold my business. I don't really have any of that stuff left over. But a plastic gift card, what I do is I make it look like a gift card. Now, even on the back, on the printing, 
I put a little magnetic strip, just blackish gray or black silver kind of bar on there. And people go, well, why do you put the bar on there if it doesn't scan? Well, because a plastic gift card is going to be for, say, $25 of services or $50 of services or whatever you want to do your plastic gift card for. There has to be an actual value for the gift card because the value has more uh, well, value than a percentage. A percentage, even though it could be higher, they understand when they see this percentage subliminally, I have to spend money to save this money. But a gift card, look in your wallet or purse, and you'll have gift cards in there now that have $3.12 on it to some store or a place that you'll never use, but you're not going to throw it away because it's got money. It's money, right? Now, on the back of this plastic gift card, I will say something along the lines of this gift card's good towards any uh, inside or outside window cleaning, something along those lines, so that people... I don't even know you need to put that on there because I really don't think people be like, I got $25. I'd like $25 worth of windows clean. Okay, well, I could still go there, try to upsell you, get you your name in the book so I can continue to sell you down the road and maybe you'll really like what I do and from there we become, you know, customer or client. But up until that point, having a plastic gift card is something that you can just give to anybody and everybody. Now, anytime somebody says, oh, do you guys have a card? I instantly give them a plastic gift card, and our business card. But that's not what I'm talking about. We're talking about referrals. So what I do at the job, when it's all closed, all said and done, I give them their envelope. And in their envelope, I got a bunch of stuff in there. And one of the things is two plastic gift cards. And I say, oh, I threw some extra gift cards in there for you. One's for your next service, but go ahead and give one to your friends. Anybody you think might need one or want one, I threw an extra one in there for you. Uh, just give it to somebody and... and uh, they, they'd like you for it. Something along those lines. People go, oh, wow, great. No, my buddy, my friend Doris, she's she was just talking about it. I, right? So now they know that they have the gift card. They can give their friends money, which is huge. If somebody asks, they're not just giving them a number. They go, oh, man, I just remembered. I have a gift card for them for $25. I'll give it to you. It's great. I always let them know also that the gift cards don't expire. Um, because, again... They'll lose it before it expires. It has no actual cash value, so you're, it's more of a coupon, but just in a gift card form. Um, but the other nice thing about gift cards are they're plastic. So when I get a gift card back, I can clean it. That's just what I do. And then I can put it right back in and pile and hand them out again. They're just recycled. You don't have to keep buying them because you get them back. It's genius. It's a genius idea. I learned about gift cards, uh, plastic gift cards, at one of the conferences, sitting at a bar, networking. It's like been the greatest thing that I've ever had for uh, my business. We've had cards too, where some, I had a lady who moved out of state, came back, this was like three years later, two, three years later, and uh, she said, oh, I was looking through my purse and I saw this card, I wanna use this, can I still use it? She literally moved out of state, kept the card, in case you ever came back. like They just have a value that is very, very hard to uh, give up. But once that person, even a referral is nice from somebody, but if you tell them, hey, I gave you a gift card to give somebody, you've asked for the referral, but now they have something to give them. They wanna help their friends. They wanna give their friends something. So plastic gift cards go very, very far uh, in that. So use the plastic gift cards. If you look and just search plastic cards, on uh, Google and find it wherever they're printed. I print like maybe 500 at a time, something like that. They're pretty darn cheap because they just keep coming back. But give them to everybody. People go, well, I'm not giving away my services. <sighs> okay, well, I would 100% be happy giving away $25 in my services because that really doesn't cost you anything. You just maybe not make enough. But they're gonna give it to other people. They're gonna share it. They're gonna get you to call back. They may look through their purse a year from now, see that and go, what is it? Oh, window clean. Oh man, we should call these guys. We haven't called. It works as a business card that no one throws away. Because if I hand you business cards, and this question is to all you people who have maybe met me in person at one of the shows or something, and I've given you a business card, how many of you still have my business card? None. None. Stickers are great because you stick them to stuff, but eventually stickers kind of get gnarly and then they get peeled off. 
Some of you probably, more of you have stickers of mine than business cards of mine. But if I give you a plastic gift card, you put it in your wallet or purse and it sits there. Look in your wallet or purse now. You'll find it. I promise you'll have stuff in there from somewhere. I know my wife still has cards that we don't even know balances on there for every place that she maybe has gotten a card and just didn't use it all. So plastic gift cards are huge. It's definitely something to look for and uh, hand out as much as possible. But let people know that they should be handing them out too. It's free money. Free money. Uh, the next one on our list, the top five ways to get referrals is Facebook. Now, we knew Facebook was going to be on the list. I put it kind of in the middle because I don't want to babble about it too terribly long. But Facebook is a really, really, really good option because... Not only are there people in the neighborhood, but it's all of the other people. And anybody that can see what they're posting is usually their friends. If they're in a group, we have something here called uh, Mooresville Mommies or Mommies of Mooresville or something like that. If you're in a group like that, it's very likely that you're going to go in there and go, Hey, everybody, I just had this great person come and do my window cleaning. And those people who have similar, similar interests and similar kind of you know, economic backgrounds, really, they may use you too. Facebook is huge. If you can talk to all their friends, I know people with 5,000 friends. I think that's where it caps at 49.99 or whatever. If you have that many friends, it's really, really awesome if you just post something and all those people see it. Even if it's something little like, hey, I just got my windows cleaned, hashtag clean windows or whatever. Like pictures of it, anything. Any post that they put on Facebook will come back to you, even if it's not an ad for you, even if they don't put your information, because you know what happens is if you have a lot of friends or you have good content on your Facebook, there's interaction. People are like, oh, wow, who did it? You'll have 15 people ask you, and then they're posting. Now it's a conversation. They think they're cool. They're helping all their friends find these great, oh, everybody, everybody wants to be that person that found the diamond in the rough. And that's what they're going to do with you. So having them uh, put you on Facebook is awesome. The other thing with Facebook is that pictures speak a thousand words, right? Like pictures are everything. And that's what Facebook is. Instagram, Facebook, all those things. You can have some kind of quirky windows of like, you know, clean in quarantine or something like that. You put something like that on Facebook, other people will interact with it always. So that's how they're now referring you business by just explaining that they've had this done. Because there's a lot of people out there, and I don't know how new you guys are, uh, but you've probably heard this or not, but I've had people still who, and I've been in business for you know 10 years at the time that I heard this, and people would go, oh wow, I didn't even know there was a window cleaner in town. And I'd always say, well, that means I'm not doing my job by letting you know. And they go, ha ha ha, and I go, ha ha ha. <laughs> but there's just people out there who just don't know window cleaning is even a professional service. There's a lot of people that do it themselves. Like, no matter how much advertising you can do, there's still avenues that people won't see. Sending a postcard. I've had people on routes where I'll do three postings for EDDMs. That means they've gotten three of my postcards. You know, a month or a couple weeks later, one of their neighbors talks to them or something, and they go, oh, I've never heard of you guys. I literally sent you three pieces of mail that had my name, logo, pictures, coupons, everything. You didn't see that? Three times I sent it to you. Three weeks in a row. So there's a lot of times that people just overlook a lot of the other stuff. Like what was the last ad you saw? We're, we're, we're bombarded with this stuff and we have a great ability to overlook it. That's where social media comes into play. Is social media, you can't be annoying on social media because people just overlook it. Tell me this, what was the last billboard you saw? Just ad name, what it was, the picture even. You don't know. I was just out driving before this and I know I passed billboards. I know they're there. I couldn't tell you what they were because I didn't see them. I didn't actually see them in my eyes. I didn't actually let them register. It's the same thing with mail. It's the same thing with everything. And it's the same thing with social media. So getting people to keep posting about you keeps you relevant in other people's eyes and talks to their friends. And like we said, if you can get referred to by somebody they, that they trust, they instantly trust you. Facebook's a great one. But how do you get somebody to put you on Facebook is just simply ask. Just let them know. Hey, if you got a Facebook too, go ahead and tag us. Here's our name. People like content. They like putting it out there. Another way on the top five ways to get referrals is going to be after job ask. And the after job ask is if you do this, which we always call the day after service. 
And uh, if it's a uh, Friday, we call on the Monday, of course. But we say, hey, this is Jersey with XYZ window cleaning. And I'm just calling to see how everything turned out. How did it all look? 95 plus percent of the time, they're like, oh, it looked amazing. Sometimes they go, oh, I, I found a streak in the, in the uh, kitchen window, but I just wiped it up. You're like, you've called. So it doesn't matter even if you had. I've never, oh, maybe one time, I've had somebody who said, oh, man, they left this window or they forgot this window. Or they weren't going to call us, but because we called them, it instantly nipped it in the butt. I'm telling you, follow-up calls are huge for your customer support. But in that follow-up call, we asked, oh, everything looked great. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, uh, by the way, we didn't see you on the schedule as setting up your next appointment. Uh, when did you want that done? In three months or six months? Boom. I didn't ask a yes or no. Now they're they're booking the next service, right? I want to get them on the calendar again because I don't want to have to go through and chase them. And then, yes, on any of the calls at the beginning of the week, we're going to call everybody and let them know the day, remind them, oh, just so you know, we'll be there on Tuesday. You set that appointment up with us. We'll be there Tuesday, 9 a.m. But on the other thing, in that entire call, when everything's said and done, we will ask them flat out for referrals. And just so you know, we are a small company, small family-run company. Uh, there's nothing better to us than a referral. Just letting your friends know you've used us. We gave you those gift cards. Hand those out. Uh, any type of referrals or reviews that you can leave for us would help us immensely. And I'm telling you, when you ask somebody who you've just gone through everything, you've explained the experience was good, you reminded them the experience is good because now they told you, oh, it was great. Instantly, their brain thinks of clean windows. Oh, I was so happy when it was all done. Now they want to help you. You've asked. You've asked for the referral. Um, they will give you a referral and they will give you a review. If you're using Nice Job, for reviews, they'll take those and they'll continue to ask review. Hey, I didn't see that review come through yet. I love one, blah, blah, blah. But just asking for referrals is awesome. Another thing people do is they'll physically ask, hey, do you know a couple people's name and addresses? I can, I'll just send them a little um, gift card and say it's from you or something along those lines. And people will give you, oh, yes, let me get my, uh, let me get her address. It's Doris. We were just talking about it at a coffee last week, which reminded me to call you. And a lot of times they're willing to give you their other people's information. Now, if you say, can I have three people's information? Like, they're no, you can't have any of my people's information. It's all in the way that you ask. A lot of times they'll give you a referral and then I'll send something to them. Uh, and I didn't do that all the time. But uh, if somebody said, hey, I got a friend who, you know, would love your service. Oh, do you have her number and uh, uh, address? I'll shoot her a gift card, a little letter saying, hey, nice to meet you. And I'll send something and say, hey, I just got done doing Doris's house. And she said, you might want this. Here's a gift certificate if you ever decide you want to get your windows professionally done. No salesy anything. I put her name in there. It's a handwritten letter which my handwriting's horrible, so I always had my office got us to do it. But uh, hand in the gift certificate with that in a little letter. They've got something. Oh, oh, Dora, they just did Doris's house. Now instantly, Doris didn't even give you the referral. She gave you the info. But they trust Doris. Her name's on there. Boom. They trust you. It's a very, very interesting way. But doing all of these things, getting referrals, is boosting up everybody who's selling for you. Referrals are huge for that. Get those people to sell for you. That's one of them. Asking after the job and just getting it in your speech. If you don't have scripts, and yes, you don't have to follow a script like a robot. Hello, I am calling for, don't do that. But if you have a script, it just gives you the bullet points. These are the things I want to touch on. Don't make it a call that's 45 minutes. Make it flow and touch on the main points. How are the windows? Great. Oh, awesome. Hey, I didn't see you on the schedule for uh, next time. Uh, did you want three months or six months? Oh, uh, just six months is fine. Okay, great. Uh, let me get you on a Tuesday the 21st work for you. Say same time. Yep, yep, yeah, that should work fine. Uh, will you send me a reminder? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to send you a reminder. We'll call you the week of and uh, we'll let you know. Then they send you an email. I don't know. Get all that information. Oh, and by the way, we're a family-run company and we'd love nothing more than giving us a referral. So if you know anybody who could use our services... Let them know. We gave you an extra gift card. Go ahead and hand that to them. If you have any information on them that you want us to uh, reach out and just send them something saying hi, we'd be happy to do that. Same thing with reviews. If you ask, they do it. That is just a simple fact of it. 
And uh, lastly, in the big ones, is uh, neighbor pairing discount. Now, there should be a sexier name for that, but there's not. But here's the thing. Neighbors, not like it used to be, but there is a lot of areas where neighbors are super tight. Oh, I talked to Don. Don said I should come and uh, give you a great. Well, here's what we do. When we send anything out or talk to them or do anything, we always say in a subdivision area, say, hey, if you have other neighbors that want to have this done and you organize it, we can give everybody 10% off. And sometimes people want something extra for themselves or most of the times not because they're helping their neighbors. Uh, we tried that for a while. It's like everybody that you got to sign up on the same day, we gave you a 10% off. So you've signed up five people, we give you 50% off. And people go, no, 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 don't, don't give that to me. Just kind of give it to everybody. They don't want to screw their neighbors because they're friends. So just on that, so like, hey, everybody, everybody that comes on gets 10% off because we're going to try to do it all on the same day. We have a bunch of them like that. Neighborhoods just keep adding people and adding people. We're, we're in a couple neighborhoods uh, for like four, well, one of them's like four days straight and one of them's two days straight of just boom, 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 like to the point of leaving trucks and driveways and just staying in that neighborhood, getting everybody done and it works out really, really well. People are getting a discount, but there's no drive time. I would very, very, you know, happy to give people a $20 discount per house uh, to be able to do that many in a row all in one area. Because again, any window cleaner that comes into that neighborhood is going to be us. Because there's so many people that use them. There's so many people giving our name and our referral that we're the ones that are going to get it. We're securing that neighborhood. I love having what we call a block, um, even a route, where we'll own a block. And owning a block is when you do a whole street. Say you have like a downtown area where all the buildings are connected. You go, that, I own that street. That means everybody on that street you do. Like if you can do that or a neighborhood... I own that neighborhood. That's like the best thing ever because that means that you are the one that's doing it. Now, neighborhoods are super hard. I've never owned a whole neighborhood, but of course, like streets and things we have. Uh, well, at least had a huge, huge market share. Some people just aren't going to do it. But I've had cul-de-sacs. We we do the entire cul-de-sac. We do uh, con. It's not a con. Townhomes, uh, town townhome neighborhoods where we just do like streets and streets. Like like I said, days were in there. So it's huge to offer that. And again. There's people out there who are going to be like, oh, I don't do discounts. I don't, I don't water down my services. Cool. If you don't and you think I'm dumb, that's fine too. You could, you're entitled to your opinion. Like I said, somebody sent me a Facebook message and just said, you're an a-hole, but with the full word. So, hey, if you don't like it, that's totally cool. Not all of this has to be for you, but these are great, great ideas. Things to boost up that referral thing. Everything else doesn't matter how much money you have. EDDM costs money. Flyers cost money. Postcards cost money. Uh, door hangers cost money to print. Uh, Facebook ads. Uh, Google. All those things cost money, but guess what doesn't? Referrals. Referrals don't cost money. If you just ask, that's the big takeaway, is if you ask for a referral, you will maybe 70% of the time get a referral. Cause there's just some people who don't like if my plumber comes to me and was like, Hey, when I, uh, if you like my service, I'd love you to refer me to somebody. I may go out of my way to do it, but mm, for a plumber, that's, that doesn't come up very often. If somebody needs a plumber, guess what? I'm going to, I'm going to, Oh yeah, yeah. I had a guy who's great. So it's the same thing with window cleaning. If you can just ask, you would be absolutely pleasantly surprised how many people are going to give you referrals. And referrals should be the majority of all of your sales every year. They should just keep being that way. That's why this whole thing gets easier and easier every year is because of referrals and repeat business. So anyway, if you're buying supplies, I beg of you, let me be your rep. I would love nothing more than to be your rep for anything window cleaning, pressure washing related. My number is 862-312-2026. And if you use me for your window cleaning needs, go on a Facebook group and give me a referral. <laughs> Let people know that you got... No, I do love that though. We jump on uh, a lot of times. Pro Window is one of our group. Uh, pro Window Cleaning. And people will be like, oh, I just got done talking to Jersey or Jersey helped me. Or I pictures of your equipment. That's so awesome. You get your package. You shoot a picture like, thanks to Jersey over at WCR for... That's awesome. I really do appreciate that. But more importantly, I want to be your rep to put your orders in. Like I said, it costs you nothing extra. It's, in fact, even quicker most times. If you just call me, shoot me a text, be like, yo, Jersey, 
My order is in my cart. Make sure you're logged in. I'll verify address and put it in. That's how I make my cheddar. It's like a virtual high five of awesomeness. Or now, uh, what are they doing? The elbow bumps so they don't give each other COVID. <laughs> it's like a virtual elbow. It's a virtual one of those from a distance, a six foot distance. But uh, yes, definitely call me. 862-312-2026 is my number. Save it. Again, Jersey, like the state. Put it in your phone. Save it. Now you got a guy. Let me know if I can do anything for you. The code this week um, is... Uh, the code this week is Holla Back Girl. There you go. Remember that song? Ain't no Holla Back Girl. Yes, I'll never sing for you again. That's the code. Holla Back. Uh, all has to do with referrals. Let me know that code and you will get 5% off your order plus free shipping if you call me 862-312-2026. So thank you very, very much. And until next week, go out there and be safe and be epic. <laughs>